Hey guys, I'm Rick. And I'm Shane with TechSpin. And today we have a bunch of mouse pads from JetArt. We grabbed a few already and JetArt sponsored us these two. We've been using a couple of these for a while now and really like the feel and tracking. So we decided why not do an episode on them. At TechSpin, we're committed to bringing you honest testing and opinions in our reviews. That's right. So let's see if these should make your next purchase list. We have five different pads we'll be reviewing today, with two in plastic clamshells sponsored by JetArt. First up, we have the MP1280 and MP1680, which retail for $199 and $249 NT. American pricing is $665 and $832. The 1280 measures 25 by 21 centimeters and 8.5 millimeters thick, and it weighs 85 grams or 3 ounces. With a microfiber surface, it's made with 100% CR or chloroprene rubber a form of neoprene, same stuff used in diving and surfing suits. Properties of both this and the 1680 are the smooth silky surface, shock absorption, and it improves your comfort and allows for quicker and more accurate gaming. It was designed for both Twitch gaming and heavy users in mind. The MP1680 is 30 by 25 centimeters and 8.5 mm thick. It weighs about 120 grams or 4 and a quarter ounces with the same attributes. Microfiber surface and 100% chloroprene rubber. The rubber grabs a clean desk extremely well and won't jump or skip. Mouse test. Very nice response for the pad. Both pads feel soft and springy. Up next is the MP5200, and it's priced at 299 NT or 999 US dollars. With the same 25 by 21 and 8.5 dimensions as the first one, it's denser, weighing in at 145 grams or 5 ounces. It has a nano bamboo charcoal yarn microfiber cover and ultra fine smooth and fluid feeling surface. It feels stiffer than the first two. The MP5200 feels firmer but smooth. Sound test. My Rival 100 glides nicely on this one. The CR neoprene doesn't transfer heat, so these mouse pads won't heat up, and it says it releases negative ions with antibacterial and deodorizing effects. While I'm always skeptical about manufacturers toting ion exchange and other lofty claims from simple materials, I heavily used the MP1280 for more than a year and found that the pad was comfortable, didn't get dirty easily, and didn't pick up any smells. Here are the two models JetArt sent us, the MP2200, which goes for $299 or $999 US, and the top of the line MP2600, retailing for $360 NT or 12 bucks. The green MP2200 is 26 by 22 cm's and a thick, supple 10.5 millimeters thick. At 113 grams or 4 ounces, it's made from SBR rubber, a copolymer composed of styrene and butadiene. Compared to chloroprene rubber, it's less dense yet more elastic and more than 50% stronger. In Taiwan, QQ means really bouncy or springy, hence the advertising. The blue MP2600 also is 26 by 22 centimeters, but super thin at just 5 millimeters. To accomplish this, JetArt switched to a different material completely and decided to use eco-friendly polyurethane leather. When I tried to open them, I realized that these clamshells were the old style, super difficult to open variety. Aw oh man, come on. So, had to get a sharp box cutter and be very careful. It took me about 5 minutes total to prep cut and open, as I need the boxes to still look like new for any pickup shots I may miss in filming. Almost dicked myself twice with a knife too. Finally, got them both out. The PU leather that the MP2600 uses is a synthetic made to look and feel like leather. This mouse pad is denser than the others, at 156 grams or 5.5 ounces, but feels super smooth, 
and still has shock absorbing properties. And Jet Art says it will be durable and won't change its shape. It has antibacterial and dust resistant properties, as well as being durable, and this surface is backed with a non slip rubber bottom, all finely edge stitched together. This pad is just mildly springy, and the feel of the surface is cool. Checking the sound. It's a bit noisier, but feels precise. Again, a super fine fiber surface with an ultra silky smooth feel and response. The SBR material feels subtly different than the CR. It's really spongy and feels great. Last test. It's a really nice and plush feeling here. Please take a moment to like this video, and if you like what you see, then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. So how did these measure up? Well, um, we've been actually using these around the house for a long time, these are the 1280s, and uh, I really like the quality and the feel of these over, you know, if you use them for long periods of time. So yeah, that, that's what actually made me pick up two more, and then uh, Jet Art sent us these two over here. So yeah, I really like the Jet Art line in general. Um, yeah, really, really, really plushy. All these are pretty good. Um, what do you think? Um, well, this one here is my favorite. Uh, Texture-wise, it's, it's very, very smooth. I think it's probably the smoothest out of all of them, but it's also really plushy. It's got like extra padding. Yeah. <clears throat> these are more of a rounded shape, and I, I do like that kind of feel and design. This is kind of a normal size. Um, but uh, the the square the square sh uh, shapes with the bigger ones are and you know, I kind of prefer that just a little bit more. So yeah. Well, you know, I've I've said in the past that I'm a little bit heavy-handed when it comes to using a mouse. So I actually prefer the extra, you know, surface area because it gives me a little bit more room before I reach the uh, edge of the pad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This one here is uh, the the middle one here is actually kind of heavier and thicker, and it's not bad. It's it's much denser, so it doesn't have the same plush feel. Yeah. However, it's you know if you like a slightly stiffer pad, and it still has a bit of give. It's it's good. Yeah, yeah, and and again, it's just got a pretty smooth surface to it. Yeah, and that's a fifty two hundred there. Okay. Uh, this one here is really stylish, uh, very firm. Um, it. it Mostly smooth, but it's got a little bit of, little bit of extra texture to it. Yeah, I do like the texture on that. That's true, and the the presentation of it with the stitching around the edges and stuff is really well done. Yeah, I like that yeah. too. It'd be suitable, uh, in, you know, in a boardroom or in a you know gamer's desk who wants something like really bling bling or something like that on his desk. Well, and I think you know, like like with the stitched edge too, um, like it's actually got a seam that goes right over. The, Right over the edge and i think it'll probably hold up just a little bit longer than than your average mouse pad like you're not going to worry about so much like the fraying or fraying or tearing or something along the yeah. edges that's true and uh, that, that's a good point too because i've been using one of these for uh, a year and a half already yeah. and uh no noticeable signs of, of wear you know it did get a bit dirty you wash it a little bit with some uh you know soap and water well and yeah that's that's the other nice thing about this surface is like it looks like it's really easy to clean like more so than, yeah than regular that's mouse true I, I found that actually um, this got a lot less dirty than the previous mouse pads i've ever used so yeah, yeah that's good and uh the other thing that I, i'd say is that you know um probably a lot better for for an office environment yeah you know where you're going to be sitting in front of a desk for a really long time and you know you just kind of want that ergonomic kind of thing. yeah extra, yeah, extra yeah. kind of yeah cushioning. extra gift help you relieve any uh, carpal tunnel or, or, you know, especially if you're a serious gamer and you need to game over hours or something to, uh, you know, keep up your score, then uh, definitely check out one of these pads. The Jet Art line of mouse pads certainly give you a lot of choice for your style, feel, or budget. Even at the low end, the MP1280 has made both my gaming and work that much better. Part of the reason I came up with doing this episode to begin with. With a smooth gliding surface that doesn't get dirty easily, I can really recommend even the basic model. For more real estate, the MP1680 certainly provides a nice big work area, and all those mouse pads grip a clean desk very, very well. I like the MP5200 as a firmer mouse pad. If you don't like yours too soft, this will still give the nice accuracy of the others with a stiffer feel. The MP2200 is the most plush of all. Hey, that's mine. And Irene has already claimed this thick bouncy pad as her own. 
and the feel the MP2600 would fit in at the office or boardroom, yet has a really great tracking feel that gamers will also appreciate. The stitching is really nicely done, and I didn't see any loose ends or any other problems, so this was really well made. One improvement to be made is obviously the retro impossible to open plastic clamshells, and we'll contact JetArt about making future versions more customer friendly and less dangerous to open. Since this is kind of an unusual review, I won't be giving a number score for each or as a group. Instead, I'm awarding the JetArt whole series of mouse pads a Techspin Prime Award for the great design and composition. If you're looking for a new pad and want something good, I definitely recommend JetArt for your consideration. It'd be a great useful upgrade for any gaming setup. What new items do you want to see reviewed in upcoming episodes? Found some cool stuff you want to share? Then let us know in the comments. Please hit that thumbs up button if you like this video or tell us how we can improve for next time. To see more videos like this, then please do subscribe for new content and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when we put up a new video. We always check the comments and we do respond to most. So if you have a question or if we miss something, then please tell us down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thank you all very much for watching and see you all again really soon. Bye for now.